Hi there. Today I'm going to go over how to access the school-wide goose chase activity. They've been separated into two different games, one for grades kindergarten through second grade and another for grades for third through fifth grade. On the Google Slides for the students, that is where you will find the game code which will be necessary to access this game. To begin, you're going to want to install the app from your Play Store onto your device. It could be on a phone uh, if you're a staff member or onto the student Chromebooks. And you're going to be looking for the Goose Chase app. And it's got the orange square and the two white goose feet. Once you have it installed, open it up in your launcher and you'll be needing to type in one of the codes for your game. Before you begin, let's choose Play as a Guest. Here's where we enter our game code. After entering your game code, you'll see uh, the title of the game and when it will begin and when it will start. For our hour of code, we're starting on January 24th and ending on February 4th. So you have two weeks to gather points and play in our Goose Chase. Back to the Goose Chase, after already signing in for one of the day's activities, you can always open up the app again by going to your launcher and it will remember the game that you were in. Any completed assignments or missions will be over in the completed section. You can always check back to see how your team is doing and please be sure to submit the correct evidence for the mission. Now on to selecting your team. Your team is your homeroom teacher's name. Once in to the game, you'll see all the different missions that your class can choose to participate in. We have different style points for the different types of activities. Some of them will need a picture. So perhaps you'll choose your activity and snap the evidence of you doing the activity. You'll have to allow access to your camera and media as your, well as audio on your device. Once you're ready, you'll take a picture of you doing the activity or somebody in your class doing the activity. Teachers, be on the lookout. If you're caught coding, that could get your team some points as well. And the students, you can take pictures and videos as well. I'll pose, I'll take my photo. There I am, I was doing the Code and Go mouse activity and I can submit a comment. submit that evidence. Some of the activities will be limited to coming to the Discovery Classroom. Some of them are grade level specific activities and some are for everybody. Teachers coding too. Could be photos, it could be video assignments. Some activities require you to type in a text-based answer. I look forward to seeing what you do for your hour of code activities. Third through fifth grade, you have some more advanced activities and kindergarten through second grade, some of your activities focus on the apps that you'll be using. I'll be checking all the different submissions each day. Sometimes you'll see a submission will be returned uh, because it did not meet the requirements. And I hope you have fun with our school-wide goose chase activity because this will earn you the chance to get a free discovery time. And that could mean more robots, more iPads, and more games coming your way the more you participate in our school-wide Hour of Code goose chase activity.